Hello everyone, here's the short version of how to do it, but if you want all the details, keep watching. Now let me tell you how we got here. Like a lot of stuff on BMWs, this passenger seat occupancy sensor has a 100% failure rate. When this happens, the airbag warning comes on. So I installed this fake occupancy sensor. It's just a module that pretends the sensor is still working and someone's sitting in the seat. But if someone's sitting in the seat, they gotta buckle up. If they don't buckle the seat belt, the car screams at you every few miles. Everyone in the world said you can install a resistor to fool it into thinking the seat belt's buckled. I heard anything from 1 ohm to 2000 ohms, so I tried everything from 1 ohm to 2000 ohms, and either I'd still get the screaming seat belt light, or I'd be back to step 1 with the airbag light still on. I heard the BMW buckle uses a Hall effect sensor to know when it's buckled. Hall effect sensors work off magnets, so I figured I'd try sticking a magnet to the sensor. I didn't want to pry the buckle from the front because I knew I'd leave an ugly mess. To reach the back of the buckle though I had to unbolt the seat. The cover is glued together so it's got to be broken apart. The sensor pulled straight out with some pliers. To test it I used this magnet on the end of my flashlight. That seemed to work but I wasn't about to strap my flashlight to the buckle, so I found a smaller magnet. It took me a while to find the best place to stick the magnet. In the end, it seemed like the best spot was to center the magnet about half an inch from the tip of the sensor. Now I gotta glue the cover back together. Good try, Kiki. Good try. Give me the ball now. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Not your booty. Give me the ball. <laughs> 